In this video, I'll share with you five jobs that do not require coding skills. I'll share the skills required for these jobs, the qualification required, and the median salary for each role. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Even though there have been massive layoffs in the tech industry lately, tech is still a very lucrative industry to be in. Why do I say this? Because every company nowadays is a tech company either directly or indirectly. Every company has a need for different types of tech skills, which is why it is still a good idea to have these skills that are in high demand for the foreseeable future. There's a misconception that you need coding skills or a computer science degree to work in tech. While many software development jobs require coding ability or coding skills, many other positions absolutely do not. Tech is unquestionably the industry of the future with growing job opportunities. My friends welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Wale O I'm a tech girl based in Germany and I make content about moving abroad living abroad career and travel if that sounds like a cup of tea make sure that you're subscribed to this channel please join this community and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it helps me and it um, helps others find this video and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back my darlings thank you very much if you want to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you can do that. It's at Wally O Chronicle. Wally O Chronicles. <laughs> now let's get into this video. For those who have been following me for a while, you know that I made the pivot into tech a few years ago after working in human resource management for many years. And guess what? You guessed right. I cannot code to save my life. But before I get into sharing the jobs that do not require coding skills, I'd like to share with you today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Career Foundry. Career Foundry is an online school that helps you transition into tech no matter your background or no matter what career you're coming from. They offer career change programs in data analytics, UX design, UI design, full stack web development, digital marketing, and product management. The programs are designed to take you from complete beginner to job ready in as little as six months. And guess what? If you live in Germany, you can complete one of the programs offered by Career Foundry for free without paying tuition. <gasps> yes, you heard that right. If you are unemployed in Germany, you can complete one of Career Foundry programs for free with a uh, Bildungsgutschein issued by the German Job Center or Agentur for Arbeit. I can literally hear you wondering what a Bildungsgutschein is. Don't worry, you know I've always got you. A Bildungsgutschein is an educational voucher issued by the German Employment Agency. If you are officially registered in Germany and you are unemployed or soon to be unemployed, a building good shine will enable you to learn new in-demand skills for free. Career Foundry is not like any other regular online school out there. They offer remote learning and each student gets one tutor and one mentor. They also offer a job preparation course and coaching to make sure that you get your dream job in tech after graduation. I'll leave a link to Career Foundry's page um, in the description box below so that you can learn more about their programs and um, their offering. But remember, make sure you get in touch with the job center or agent of your advice before signing up to make sure that you qualify for the building good shine to use at Career Foundry. Now, let's get into the video. Now, let's get some disclaimers in. Before we go any further, I'd like to put a disclaimer out there. The salaries mentioned in this video may vary based on the company you're working for, your level of education, your skill set, years of experience, location, and your negotiating power. Now, the first job that does not require coding skills is the role of a product manager. The product manager role in the tech industry is an ever-evolving and increasingly in-demand role. A product manager conducts market research, finds new products that will sell, oversees the design strategy, and implements the building of the product with the development team. The product manager is responsible for gathering and prioritizing product requirements, managing the product roadmap, and working with cross-functional teams to bring the product success and uh, market share growth to the whole product itself. A product manager ensures that the product meets the needs of both the customer and the business. Product managers are generally paid a median annual salary of about 105,000 euros in Germany. This is according to levels.fyi. 
The best um, 25% make approximately 136,000 euros, while the lowest paid 25% makes roughly 82,000 euros per year, according to, again, F, um, levels.fyi. There are different ways of breaking into product management with or without an engineering degree. One way is to go through an online program like that offered by Career Foundry, which lasts for five months, or you could also work on a side project to give you product management experience before launching into your job search. Now that I think about it, many product managers that I know do not actually have uh, an engineering degree or a design background. The core skills that are highly desirable in product managers are that you must be flexible and you must be a problem solver and you must have excellent communication skills and excellent planning skills as well. Oh, by the way, if you're looking for a job in Germany, I have created a five-step guide to help you get your dream job in Germany. Whether you're looking for a job in tech or you're looking for a non-techy role, this guide is for you. Make sure you grab a free copy on my website, waleochronicles.com. Wine is still available. Now let's get into the next role that does not require coding skills. The next job on this list of jobs that do not require coding skills is the role of a UX and UI designer. A UX designer means a user experience designer, while a UI designer means a user interface designer. Both UX and UI designers are important members of a tech team. They work together to create both easy to use and visually appealing products. Depending on the company, these roles might be different or could be fused into one single position. The UX and the UI designer complement each other to achieve the ultimate goal of user satisfaction. Again, according to levels.fyi, UX UI designers earn a median annual salary of 82,000 euros, the highest paid 25% earn more than 95,000 euros, while the lowest paid 25% earn approximately 70,000 euros. A UX designer makes sure that the user has an amazing experience when using a product. They do this by conducting research, doing wireframing, creating prototypes, all in a bit to make sure that the best possible user experience is available to the user. On the other hand, a UI designer ensures that the user interface is beautiful and easy to use. They achieve this by creating high quality visuals and designing an easy to navigate user interface. To become a UX UI designer, you can either go through a five month online program like the one offered by Career Foundry or spend three to four years getting a bachelor degree in design in the university. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> in any case, you'll need knowledge of industry tools like Sketch, Photoshop, Illustrator and Figma. Strong interpersonal and communication skills are also very essential to communicate user feedback and ideas to the developers. With so much change happening in the tech industry, it's important to stay ahead of the curve by keeping up with the latest trends and best practices in UX UI um, industry. In other words, you need to understand the latest technology to create better user experiences that people will absolutely love. The next job in tech that does not require coding skills is the role of a technical writer. If you can distill complex technical information into simple, clear and concise language for users to digest, Technical writing is a great way to tap into tech or to pivot into tech or break into tech. Technical writers are responsible for creating documentation such as user, user manuals, how-to guides, web guides, requirements for developers, technical press releases, and installation instructions, and so on. This helps um, users understand complex products and services. In Germany, a technical writer earns a median annual salary of roughly 63,000 euros, according to the Economic Research Institute. An entry-level technical writer earns 45,000 euros, while senior technical writers make approximately 79,000 euros annually. To be a good technical writer, you need a deep understanding of the product and the services you're writing about, including intricate design specifications and very advanced features. You, of course, need excellent writing skills, excellent communication skills, and analytical abilities to succeed in a technical writing job. Some employers may require you to have a bachelor degree in a relevant technical field such as engineering, design or computer science. Meanwhile, other employers require expertise in software documentation and basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, XML and other content management tools like RoboHelp, Data CMS and Madcap Flare. With the ever-changing tech industry, Keeping up with the latest trend is necessary to write about new and emerging technologies. The next job in tech that does not require coding skills is the role of the software quality tester. 
No organization wants to launch a product to the market without testing it first. Software quality testers execute various scalability and functionality tests on software. They put the new software through intense customer scenarios that push it to its limit to find any glitches and enhance the quality of the software. They have deep knowledge of testing methodologies and decide on test cases to carry out. Before a product hits the market, software quality testers monitor its overall performance. In Germany, software quality testers earn a median annual salary of roughly 87,000 euros, according to the Economic Research Institute, as usual. Entry-level software testers with one to three years of experience earn an average uh, yearly salary of 62,000 euros, while seniors with over eight years of experience make an average salary of 109,000 euros annually. You can be a software quality tester without coding skills. However, you need to understand how the development cycle works. For this role, you need good communication skills to deliver findings and recommend what is to be fixed. You also need good analytical skills and a lot of patience is essential for identifying bugs related to the functionality of performance during the testing process. Knowledge of test management software like Qtest, Zephyr is also necessary. Next job that does not require coding skills is the role of a business analyst. A business analyst is the bridge between business and technology. Business analysts use data analytics to, ass to assess processes, determine requirements, outline problems and deliver data-driven recommendations to stakeholders and executives. According to levels.fyi, business analysts in Germany earn a median annual salary of roughly 68,000 euros. The top 25% make approximately 81,000 euros, while the bottom 25% earn about 52,000 euros annually. As an intermediary between stakeholders and the software development team, Business analysts interpret business requirements into understandable development tasks so that the final product matches with the business needs and um, that of the needs of the customer as well. To facilitate interactions between stakeholders, a business analyst needs strong verbal and written communication skills and a deep understanding of both the business world and the technology world. The key to breaking into the business analyst um, field is to acquire advanced skills in financial modeling, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on. These are just five roles that I have mentioned in this video. There are many more roles that do not require coding skills. Remember, if you would like to pivot your career into the tech industry or into tech, then check out the online programs offered by Career Foundry. As always, if you watch this video up till this point, Please leave this comment in the comment section below so that I know you watched the video up to this point. Leave the comment, Career Foundry is the online platform for pivoting into tech. With this, I've come to the end of this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share and leave a comment. It really helps me as the algorithm seems to like something like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.